Welcome back everybody. Today we're going over the Surefire muzzle device that you see here. This one here is designed to work uh, as well as the original which was also designed to work with the suppressor. However, this one does not. So it comes at a lower cost point. It doesn't have the ability to direct attach to the suppressor, but in terms of performance, they claim that it works just as well. And honestly, in my opinion, having owned both, um, it does. So as you'd expect from Surefire, good fit and finish, all that stuff. And uh, performance is pretty good, but we'll keep putting some rounds through it and then step inside, take a look at some of the details of it. And uh, that should pretty much do it. brake does have two large chambers up front however if you actually look at it all the way around you'll note some uh, interesting porting designs here the hole at the three o'clock position is pre-drilled however it does not go all the way through and does not actually impact or affect any kind of muzzle riser performance uh, however the other three holes here around it do they are drilled through and uh, the gas can escape while you're firing it's drilled on this side though so that way if you want to sort of tune it for shooter preference you can drill that out and have your um, muzzle blast going in all directions however most folks with right hand twist barrels which the majority of AR barrels out there are are going to prefer just the uh, nine o'clock hole drilled and not the three o'clock sort of to offset for the way that uh, the recoil impulse comes out, which for most shooters, you're gonna uh, have your recoil impulse going up and to the right, and that'll help negate that. The brake is made of one piece of bar stock steel. It is US steel and the brake itself is made in the US as well. Um, it does have a melanite finish on there and the melanite finish is gonna do a good job at protecting the brake from corrosion as well as providing an even harder surface than the steel normally would. That surface hardness on there is gonna be extremely hard and uh, stand up very well to hard use. The Pro Comp weighs in at 3.4 ounces and size wise you can see how it compares to its uh, big brother here. and uh, of note, the silencer ready brake that Surefire puts out does need to be shimmed. Uh, this one here does come with a um, crush washer because no shims are needed because you're not gonna be adding a suppressor on there. Now, something that a lot of you folks may be more familiar with here is our A2 brake, or flash adder, I guess I should say. And you can see there, you are adding a little bit of length over your standard A2. I think we hit all the important specs, no doubt about it. My opinion from using this as well as many other brakes to include the original, um, it's as good at controlling recoil as anything out there. Yes, you're gonna have some flash. Uh, yes, you're gonna have some blast. It kind of is the nature of the beast. But if you are concerned about controlling recoil, controlling muzzle rise, is an excellent option out there. And it comes to market, I believe the MSRP is $60, which is extremely reasonable uh, considering you're getting surefire quality with a lot of R&D behind it. Um, quality, you know, machined uh, brake. There's no machine marks on there and that nice nitride finish that's going to hold up for a long time. Really not too much to complain about. If you guys have any questions about this or anything else I review here on the channel, you can always post below in the comments section. You can also post over at my Facebook page as always, but thanks for watching guys. Thanks for subscribing and I'll see you in the next video.